I'm Ali. Today, I'm going to read a story called The Best Sakab Pumpkin Ever. Are you ready to listen? Okay, I'm going to read you the story. Micah leaped out of the car, landing in tractor truck that snacked around the mud by the edge of the huge field. I'm going to find the best pumpkin ever. He exclaimed, a cool breeze must stop Micah's hair. This chilly fall wind is chasing away the little bit of summer, said Mom. Perfect for the saccad, Dad added. Come on, Micah yelled and ran to join the other families from the beyond. Thanks for volunteering, said Farmer Jared. We have lots of pumpkin picked before the frost comes. The more you find, the more we'll done at the soup kitchen. What's the soup kitchen? Micah whispered to his mother. A place where people in need can go get meal without having pay, pay for it, Mom replied. Farmer Jared nodded. Or pumpkins will feed lots of hungry people. Dad exclaimed, when we help others like that, we're taking part in Tikkun Oma, repairing the world. And in return for helping out, each of you can choose a pumpkin to take home. Farmer Jerry nodded, I'm going to save my biggest pumpkin for Scott, Micah said. The children raced into the field. Some pumpkins were easy to spot. Their skins glowing like mi midday sun, but Micah was on the lookout for the great big one. Yes. Micah got down on his hands and knees and lifted a dragon's leaf. Ouch! The vine was prick prickly, but underneath a special ripe pumpkin. Found one, he yanked and pulled, wrenched and twisted until finally it came free from the vine. Micah pushed aside more leaves and another. Micah collected more and more pumpkins, some with smooth skin, some with ridges and a lumpy one that had flat on its side, but not one of those were enough to perfect a cod pumpkin. Yes. Look at how many we picked, Layla exclaimed. But I still haven't found the best one, said Micah. Micah raced to the forest corner of the field. He searched and forged and lifted and shifted until finally, I found it. Micah called. He threw his arms like a huge pumpkin as round and full as the moon as a cot. Wow, really big. Micah heaved to the touch, pushed on the shot. The pumpkin wouldn't budge. I need help, Micah, Micah called out. Other children came running. This must weigh more than tractor. Ari exclaimed when he tried to lift the pumpkin. Together, they rolled the pumpkin all the way back to the truck. Micah couldn't wait to show off this enormous, perfect pumpkin. Then Micah went as the farmer Jared had something to the soup in the kitchen. Micah took a deep breath and said to the farmer Jared, Here, this is one soup. For one for soup. Farmer Jared smiled. What a kind offer. We don't use large pumpkins for cooking, but it will make a wonderful decoration. Micah headed back to the field. He searched and searched, scored, rake and rum. Finally, he spotted it a perfect like pumpkin, the best saccade pumpkin ever.
Micah could almost taste a delicious soup of the sweet and spicy pumpkin pie. This pumpkin would make his family always had so much delicious food on the sukkah. But everyone was unlucky this family had them. Micah placed a perfect small pumpkin on Farmer Jared's truck. This one is for the soup kitchen, two for cooking, he said proudly. As he stepped back, he felt some squishy beneath his feet. It was spongy, moldy pumpkin, and it smelled like socks. Ew, that's, this one is rotten. That pumpkin will break down into compost and feed the soil next to spring, Farmer Jared explained. M Micah knelt down. He pried on the pumpkin's mushy flesh and stood it on the inside. It was filled with seeds. He scooped out a few and slid it into his pocket. Micah rushed out to his mom. Mom, look! He held out his empty, out his empty hands. I found the best pumpkin in your pumpkin invisible. Asked mom. Misha, Mike, Mike laughed. I done made my perfect big pumpkin to be a decoration. I donated my perfect small one for soup, and I left the perfectly mushy one for the compass. But I kept these. Micah smiled as he pulled out of some seeds. The best saccade pumpkins ever for next year. I really love this story. Do you love this story? That pumpkin was really enormous. And thank you for listening to my story. Bye.